Okay, this video is an overview of the AX12 module. I'll first go over the structure of the module and then I'll do a quick example to demonstrate um, how you would use it. So first part is the library import. It uses the Dynamixo SDK, which I showed you how to set up in the previous video. And the next part is the static variables used to hold the register addresses. Um, you have the EEPROM addresses uh, 0 to 23, which is permanently stored in memory. And then you have your register addresses 24 to 49, uh, which is the RAM, and it resets uh, after each shutdown. Now, if you're wondering uh, what the default values are, I recommend looking at the uh, online manual. They have specific descriptions of each register as well as the um, initial values as well. Okay, so here's the actual definition of the AX12 class. The first set of functions are the set and get register functions and the rest of the functions that follow will be using these register functions to read or write directly to the registers. Now I've already written all of the uh, read and write functions for all of the registers, so you won't really need to be using these set and get registers unless uh, you want to play around with them. Okay, let's go over some functions that you'll actually be using. So the first part is the read only registers, and I'll go over some of these functions in my example later. The next set of functions are your read write registers. So I've broken it up into two parts. Um, the first part is the uh, EEPROM registers, and these are permanently stored in memory um, once you write to it. And the next set is the RAM read write registers, and these uh, reset to the default values um, each time you shut down the motor. And at the end of the module is the class methods. These are for connecting, uh, setting your baud rate, and disconnecting your motor. Okay, let's do an example so that way you could see um, how to use the AX12 module. So here I have the uh, files downloaded from Git and I'll first create a new empty file. I'll call it empty.py and in this file I'm just going to import the AX12 module. And I've already have my motor connected and I'll go ahead and run the empty.py file in interactive mode. Okay, so first you'll want to connect the motor. And once that's done, um, you'll want to create a motor object. So I'll call mine DXL. And this takes in the ID as the parameter. Okay, so this motor has a range of 300 degrees and it takes in raw input values from 0 to 1023. And 0 corresponds to Uh, that position and 1023 corresponds to that position. One of the cool things about this motor is that you could um, turn on and off the torque so that way you can move the motor manually. So to disable the torque we'll use the disable torque method and once that's disabled, we can manually move it. To get the current position, uh, we'll use the get present position function, and this will give us the raw position. To get the speed, we'll use the get present speed function, and a and the value 0, which is the default value, corresponds to the maximum speed. 
To change the speed, we'll use the set moving speed function. And let's use a value of 100. And once that's done, we could move to another position. The is moving function um, will tell you if the motor is currently moving or not. So it'll return a zero uh, if it's not moving. And if we change the speed to something a little bit slower, and then set the goal position to 10, 23. Uh, you can see that it's moving really slowly now, and if we call the is moving, you can see it re um, it'll return a one because the motor is moving. And to stop the motor, um, again we'll use the disable torque, and that will stop the motor. Okay, so that's pretty much the basics of using. Uh, the AX12 class and if you guys have any questions uh, feel free to leave them in the comments below.